Hi, my name is Simul. I'm 23 and I have no idea what I am doing with my life. But I think that's okay. Let me tell you why. Leave you with the one in the air, that's how I roll. I got change you throw, I don't care about no gold. Better so much better for thin credible. Now, whether you are in your teens or in your 20s or in your 30s or even older, I think we ask ourselves this question quite a bit. What am I doing with my life? Now, I can't speak for anyone else, but I for sure can speak from my own experience. Hopefully, some of the things that I share with you, some of the thoughts you resonate with, and maybe you and I together can feel a little bit better about this thing we call life. Let me start from the beginning. When I was in high school, everyone kind of had the same goal. That's because I feel like everyone was in the same boat. Like you go to school day by day, you do this, you do that, you play your sport, you play your instruments, you do drama, you do acting. And then when you get into the later years, you either choose whether or not you want to do a trade or you want to leave school, get a job, or you want to go to university. Up until that point, when we start making those decisions, everyone's the same. And then all of a sudden, everyone starts to go their separate ways. And when people go their separate ways, people change, things happen. Like it's actually quite amazing. Like you see people who were in high school that were like, yeah, and now they've got like, and now they're in a relationship, they married and they've got kids. And you're like, like what? Anyway, why I feel like this is because I feel like everyone's got it all figured out. And I feel like I'm the only one that doesn't know what they're doing. Now, I think for me, one of the big drivers that's kind of fueling this is because in the field that I'm in, I work as a speaker, and a facilitator, there's no real structure that you follow. It's not like in corporate where, you know, you have a grad position and you slowly, you know, you work X amount of hours, you impress, you know, your superiors and you climb up the corporate ladder. There's like a clear kind of stepping stone that's next, right? That you're like, you see the next rung on the ladder. Whereas in my field, there kind of isn't any rungs at all. It's kind of just whatever, like you could, you could start a YouTube channel, you could write a blog, you could, you know, get a job at this company, freelance, you could, I don't know, do a bit of volunteer. It's like, it's every, basically everything's just all over the place. So for me, it's a feeling like everyone's got a plan and a structure in place, but I don't. I want to do bigger and better things, help a lot of people, make a lot of money, yada, yada, yada. But it's like, what do I do? And how do I have the faith and the trust that whatever it is that I do will eventually work out for me in the end. That's kind of where I'm at. That's like my life at the moment. It's extremely scary. There's a lot of pressure from myself, from other people, and including my own family that are like continuously telling me to get a proper job, to actually do something with my life instead of making these videos on the internet or going out and speaking. And like, I get it. I mean, I agree sometimes. It's like, it's hard to ignore the path that is laid out that looks so secure and seems so, so much more simple than the path that I'm currently on. But I remember, and this only happened about two weeks ago, when I was in the gym, I did my workout and I was hitting the sauna and in the sauna, there was a bunch of guys there and they were all talking about their day jobs. And they were talking about how they live for the weekend or they can't wait until they go home and work is finished for the day. And how if another company offered them a higher paycheck, they would just up and leave. And I remember sitting there and reflecting and thinking to myself, I actually don't have that feeling with the work that I do. What I do for a living, I absolutely love speaking and facilitating, going out to a school and delivering a workshop and seeing someone's eyes light up when you tell them a story or you change someone's mindset about how they view themselves and all of a sudden they have this belief and confidence that they never had before. That's, that's incredibly meaningful to me. It may not be fancy, it may not be consistent, but it's extremely satisfying. Like I'm in the business of changing lives. And so that and a few other things have gotten me to a place where I think I'm feeling more and more comfortable and satisfied with myself and where I am at the moment. And I thought I'd share with you these thoughts that have helped me out a lot and maybe they can help you too. One, I am exactly where I need to be. There is one big thing that I know. It's that my past actions have created my present today. Right now, where I am in this moment is exactly where I'm meant to be. Once I accepted this, it helped me gain an understanding that who I am at the moment and who I am surrounded by is all I need to continue growing and living through life. Two, 
Doing something is better than doing nothing. I can't let negative thoughts and belief patterns lock me into a place of inaction where all I do is just brood and not get things done. As James Clear would put it, action relieves anxiety. If I am doing things and when I am doing things, I find my anxiety greatly reduces because I find it hard to be worried about whether or not I will achieve my goal if I'm making progress towards it, even if it is slow. Three, comparison is the thief of joy. I found that a lot of my sadness and misery these days comes from me comparing myself to others and it's not good. And so what I've been actively trying to do is, is instead of looking at someone and comparing my present state to theirs, I try to think about how am I today compared to how I was last week? Did I train more? Did I eat healthier? Did I meditate more? Did I, you know, tick more things off my to-do list? Once I started doing this, it brought the attention onto me. So it's now my responsibility and things that are within my control. And instead of making me feel down and out about it, it actually made me feel quite inspired. Four, many people feel the same. So many people feel the exact same way that I'm feeling. I've asked so many friends and they've all at some point in their lives felt like they have no idea what they're doing. In fact, a lot of them still do feel like that in this moment. And so a lot of people look like from the outside that they've got everything figured out when on the inside, they're just as concerned for the future and uncertain and confused as I am. Like we all, you and I, we're all in this together. So come join me on this journey. We'll figure it out together. I will continue making videos about this. So if you are interested, click subscribe. Five, I'll find my way. I was at the gym and I kid you not, I actually was at the gym for some reason, a lot of my peak life advice moments happens in the gym for whatever reason. Anyway, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine. I was a bit gloomy and he said something that really stuck with me. He said, if you are honest in your work and why you do things, then it will work out. That really stuck with me. And I think he's right. If we just keep our minds here and now and we try our best, we are clear and are honest in why we do what we do and we work hard, then why wouldn't it work out for us? And so if we do that, then we'll find our way. And so these are the mindsets, the mantras, the meditations, if you want to call it that, that has managed to help me calm my nerves and keep me hopeful. And I hope they can do the same for you. I hope in some way, shape or form, this video has helped you out and has put you at ease. It certainly has for me. Like, uh, thank you so much for letting me express myself. Please like this video and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Check out this video over here if you want to. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. I hope you have a great day. I'm sure you deserve it.